This could be Tendril Warrior. I know that is a thing right now. Could like maybe squeeze like ETC in the deck. And then put some kind of win con in there. Did did Riven there rotate out? Oh yeah, he did. He was from uh Knights of the Frozen Throne. Is there any other like hard win conditions that Shaman can run at this point? Oh, Taunt Warrior. Yeah, yeah, I've got the location in the deck. It's great. The only thing that kind of sucks to hit is Tendril, but yeah, it's a good card. Oh, I have it in my hand. <laughs> and I just talked about hitting Tendril. Okay. Oh yeah, you could put yeah, Reno for sure. I feel like the most obvious card to cut is Zola. Because Zola's very much just like a win more card. But it's it's always so cool to shutter block into Zola. So yeah, maybe could drop Zola for ETC. And put some like last resort cards in. Could put a hex in. These are all bad. Not taking this. This is too slow because I'll play this next turn. I'll take this, I guess. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to craft Tony again at some point. Because I think Tony like could be a card to put in Wheel Warlock. Oh, Fizzle? Yeah, that's definitely an option too. Maybe I will then drop Zola Free TC. But Reno, um, maybe a Hex, just because, like, hard removal is so possibly important right now. And then, yeah, Zola or Fizzle. All right, getting all the Tendrils. Yeah, I disenchanted Tony when it got nerfed the last time, <laughs> but it, it could fit into Wheel Warlock, I'm not sure. But it, just, it might just be too slow, right? Like, say you play Tony just to, to draw their deck for a couple turns. Probably not there. All right. Let's start spinning the wheels. Always Huffer. <laughs> eh, I'll take it. Really? I think the, this weapon is actually very, very good right now. Because, like I said, so many decks are playing big minions. I think this deck, this weapon's really strong. I don't think it, you know, warrants two copies, but I think a single copy is pretty good right now. This place is scary. I was wondering how these guys all got so beefy. The tumbleweed doesn't completely clear, which is a bit of a bummer. That's okay, still pretty good. Yeah, I think I've seen some versions of this deck not run tumbleweed, but I really like it. It's because it's good against both small and medium boards. Um, we're at 24 life. You can be a little risky. Yeah, I do think ETC might be worth the include. Because Reno would definitely be good in it, especially because this deck draws quite a bit, or the games are just going long. So if I do need it, Reno might be active. And yeah, Zola. Because Zola is obviously very, very strong in certain circumstances, but there's been times where Zola is just dead in my hand. 
Aw, that was from his deck. Whatever. I was worried about him hitting something. That's true, I could drop one Tumbleweed, maybe. We'll play um, Tendrils for probably another, like, hour. Like, until 7 Eastern, that'll probably switch to Reno. Which, I've never played Reno Shaman, so... But I, I know it's it's got so many value cards. Um, wish I had Hex now. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't kill my stuff, please. Ah, not bad. It heals me. Oh, and hit the best target. Uh, yeah, I can hit this. I guess one nice thing about putting Zola into ETC as well is that it avoids that. Getting Zola off this location kind of sucks, too. Yeah, I think Pop-Up Book is a very, very good card against aggro, for sure. Like, running it to Hunter, Pop-Up Book would be so nice. Another Hex? <laughs> Let's take another one. Oh my god. This guy is probably buttered up. I'm gonna just equip this and hold. Yeah, this, this game is Hex Simulator for sure. How many have I played at this point? <laughs> I feel like if I was that guy, I would have rage quit after all these hexes. Did you rage quit? <laughs> Alright, what are the odds he, he quit? He hasn't even hovered over any of his cards. Oh, okay, he's still there. <laughs> okay. he, he had to take a minute to like compose himself. Um, a uh, Yogg? That's a really nice target to, to steal with Yogg. Oh, did it wipe the board? Okay. <laughs> hit this, hit this, hit this. Oh, man. We used up all our luck on those hexes. I do need to kill that. Damn. We're going to take six damage next turn from this. Or do I YOLO the Tendril and then swing and kill it? YOLO. Oh, rush, 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 rush. See? Just be better at the game. And that's actually a great board against the, this guy. <laughs> okay, so he's going to brawl, play the mini. Why would you play both? Like, play one, and then play the mini. That's very weird. My board's full somehow. Okay. <laughs> Again, that's actually good, because he plays this mini guy, and it's more options for him to hit. Oh, do I risk the eight mana right now? I don't think I do. <laughs> yeah, that was he. That was a weird play in his part. Like he should have played. Sure, play the one Annoya bot to like dilute the brawl a bit. But yeah, he should have played that. Oh, best target to hit. So I'm going to do the <laughs> going to hex that again. <laughs> um, man. Five, six, seven. So if this trades here, four, five, wait, eight. Oh, I can just tumbleweed. I was trying to maximize, like, the uh, baking soda volcano. 
Do I do eight now? Screw it. You've been lucky so far. Yeah, see? Just keep being lucky. Oh, I have another gift too. I can... <laughs> I have another hex. I have to play it. Yep, play something big. Play something big for me to hex. Ah, it's not good enough to hex. Trade Aftershocks. Play this guy. I really don't want to take any face damage unless I absolutely have to. Healing or taunt? I know, I, I am waiting for a tendril to hit Wheel of Death as well. <laughs> it's going to happen at some point, right? Like, I don't know how many 8-mana options there is, but there can't be much. Like, 6 max, maybe? Do I hex this? Actually, no. All Aftershocks, Volcano, and then play two Tendrils. It had 11 health on board, so it was just shy of a uh, Volcano clearing. Give me like the Scourge here. Oh. Aw. Oh. Our luck better not be drying up. So we have Shutterblock in the deck still at the bottom, of course. I think I just Geppetto next turn. Okay. You guys know what we're doing now, right? <laughs> oh, man. Did I play like six hexes this game? Okay. All right, anything but my face there I was fine with. Um. Oh, can you imagine I had more hexes in <laughs> the conductivity one? Although, hey, this is a pseudo hex. I gotta do it. Do I Zola this guy? Another big removal. It's also more healing. But this game is going so slow, I can afford to, like, Zola Shutter Block. Yeah, we'll hold it. Yeah, this game. This is a clipped game for sure. <laughs> That's fine. Seems to play the mini and trigger it. Okay. I could Geppetto here, play two tendrils. So there's nothing that can clear my board. Like, either the Warlock one hurts him, or the Mage one hurts him, so there's no sense making this trade. Oh, wait. Um, actually, I'll do this. Mm. Yeah, I'll do this trade now, because if it's the Mage one, I want to make sure I get the 10 drop. And if it's the Warlock one, it clears that one health anyways. Yep. Easy game. So what's he got left? Random taunt minion. I just attack. This guy's probably just seeing red and he's like, he can't even think straight. <laughs> I 
what if I told you I had another hex? 